I'm going to share with you a technique that I use to color or match my color for an element or use it as a global color to, to blend all the elements together. Now, for example, I want to add a color across this whole image to tie in all my elements. Now, one way could be is a solid color fill or you could choose gradients but you have to make the choices of color. And this technique takes the guesswork out. And I let Photoshop work out the average color toning for this image. So this technique I call just color toning. So I'm going to come up and go filter. Then I'll come into blur and then I'll go average. Photoshop does its thing works out the average color in this image and it decides for you. And so it's just like putting a global color wash across your whole image. But what I'm going to do now is use my blend mode and I'll choose soft light. You could use any other blend mode. You could use multiply, darken. You just see what works. Color burn, I mean, you know, it's just about playing, but I'll go for soft light because what I want is not to change the colors that are underneath, but actually just give it a nice tie in tonally across this whole image. So I've done soft light, but then I'll play with my opacity and I'll drop that down. Let's drop it right down to about 38. And this will give sometimes that soft light color coming through my image and what I'm doing is building up depth with color. I'll turn that layer off. You can see it's subtle. So let's see, let's go into multiply and I'll just bump up that opacity just to give you an idea. I'll turn that layer off and turn it on. And so when I'm building up my images, I will actually use this technique quite a lot just to tie in all the colors. And it is a great technique to use both in landscapes, you could use it in still life flower photography when you're processing all your images. And I usually call it color toning. Now, if I did this on another image, you may find that that color there that Photoshop has created Will be totally different. It's based on the average color in that image. But the tip to it is that you must work on a pixelated layer. So for example, I'm just going to delete that layer. Now again, I'll go to my actions panel, makes it so much quicker. I'll do duplicate layer. Now that's what I call a pixelated layer. I'm going to delete that layer again. And now I'm going to apply an adjustment layer, Levels. Now I'll click on there and I'll go up to Filter and you can see that they're greyed out. So this technique must work on a pixelated layer, not an adjustment layer. And so if you're finding that you, as you're going through your workflow, you go up to use this technique and that menu is all greyed out, you know you have to have a pixelated layer. And I usually do that, what I call stamp visible layer. So I'll just duplicate a layer. I'll put a levels in just for example. And now I want that to, to use that technique. So again, I use my actions panel. I'll click on to stamp visible layer. And there it is. It's combined all those layers into that one stamp visible. Use that color toning technique, a great tool to use.